Hello everyone, welcome back to Starfield. We'll be continuing the uh, absolute power uh, quest given to us. And uh, yeah, first time to Neon. Let's see what'll happen. Wow, it is literally just an ocean. Oh, and I changed up my um, outfit. I think it looks a little bit better than just running around with a security uniform on. I heard there's shortages over at Reliant Medical. Not great. Doc Manning better get his act together before the place shuts down. Oh. Just one. Quit staring. People joke, say those Varun zealots worship a snake. But let me tell you, it ain't a snake. It's some kind of celestial being. They call it the Great Serpent. It's real. Hmm. Don't move, Yesha! It's Phelps. Cut the act. Snippers picked up the Aurora you're carrying the second you step through. All right, get up slowly and turn around. Try to run and we open fire. No, no, I just forgot I was carrying it, is all. Honest mistake, right? Uh, can't, can't we just settle this right here? I can pay the usual. We don't make the rules. That's Administrator Bayo's job. Now, shut up and start walking. Move it. Let's go. Ow. The rules are there for a reason. Follow them, and we won't have them. Hmm? That's very interesting. Ah, Ryujin. All right. So the neon is home to Ryujin and a bunch of other corporations. Alright. Madame Sauvage. Look, I ain't gonna stand around I here all day. I have zoned out of my mind right now. The stuff or not? <laughs> I'm still interested, but you're asking almost double the going rate. What? You think this stuff falls from the sky? Look, ah, hello. On the street before, and I've never paid this much. Still cheaper than buying it at the Astro Lounge. All well, right. You looking to get zoned? Then I'm walking away. Do you want this stuff or not? Fine, fine. I'll transfer mm. the credits, and you can. I'm leave looking it for you. Yeah. Well, if I had a credit for every time I heard that line, I wouldn't be stuck working in this place. So, I'm guessing you're the rook that Delgado sent. Well, let me save both of us some time. Turn around, fly back to the key, and tell the big boss that I'm in no mood to screw around. We'll make this deal when he starts taking me seriously. Um. Who said no one's taking you seriously? Come on, give me a break. You're not exactly a top dog over there at the key, now are you? Sending me a rook to handle a job this risky is a goddamn insult. I'm getting pretty tired of being called a rook. And I'm getting tired of the fleet not taking me seriously. I spent the last three months setting up this job, burned two contacts and a hell of a lot of credits. The whole time, I'm also keeping Bayou off our backs. That idiot even catches a whiff of money and he latches onto you like a damn leech. If you want to piss off Delgado by complaining, that's on you. All right, all right, I get the point. Let's just get this over with. I don't have a ton of time to stand here and screw around, so I'm gonna make this as clear as possible. You want the conduction grid tech, then you're gonna have to download it from the power core of Jennerdine's facility in the underbelly. What kind of facility are we talking about? 
I'm talking about Jennerdyne's main power plant for Neon. <laughs> All their cushy offices might be up in the Trade Tower, but the nuts and bolts of their operation are running beneath the city. All right, sounds easy enough. Love the confidence. But before you pull the ripcord, I'm afraid I need to add a bit of a wrinkle. While you're inside Jennerdyne, I need you to plant a virus into their system. It's a simple side job that'll earn you some credits. I think you can handle it. All right. Why should I bother doing this for you? <laughs> the elevator doesn't exactly go to the top floor in that head of yours, does it? Everything in the Crimson Fleet is accomplished through a decent helping of give and take. As in, I'm not... Okay. Fine. Oh, actually, Delgado never mentioned anything about a virus. That's because you're planning it for me as a favor. Jennerdyne has all sorts of tasty, valuable snacks in their databanks, and I want access. Here, take this micro drive and access the computer in Brayson Bayou's office. It'll do the rest on its own. Research methods. This is this <clears throat> this high speed wireless data collection siphon should make the job a cinch. It might be wireless, but you aren't going to be able to use it from here, genius. Jennerdyne's got their place locked down tight. But, as usual, the weak link comes from the people that work there. I recommend you start with Ayumi Komiko, an upper-level exec at Jennerdyne. Get your hands on her security pass, and you'll have the run of the place. All right. There's got to be a catch. The catch is that Komiko's having a little fling with Benjamin Bayou. Anyway, you can find Komiko at Euphorica. Talk to the owner of the place, Micah. She'll point you in the right direction. As for dealing with Komiko herself, she's got an office in the Trade Tower if you're looking for something incriminating. The rest is up to you, Rook. When you're done, come meet me at the VIP booth in the Astral Lounge so we can celebrate. Okay. Don't let Komiko push you. Yeah, I'm gonna go to her apartment or whatever it's called. For a cup of coffee. I'm not in the mood. All right, I'll go. Hands up. Oh. Bang. Oh. Hmm. Are you supposed to be here? Okay. Hello. Yeah. What? Let me save you some time. If you're here for a job, we're not hiring. If you're here about the conduction grid tour, we shut it down a year ago. What's the conduction grid? See that big yellow thing that's draped over almost the entire city? That's the grid, or what the locals call the span. Besides looking like some sort of madman's modern art piece, it's actually the main source of the city's power. All right, a tour would have been nice. Well, like I said, it's shut down. Had to cut the entire tour staff too. Look, I'm sorry if I'm blowing up at you, but I've got a ton of problems and no time to deal with them all. I'm afraid that things aren't going terribly well around here. All right, if you don't mind talking about it, I'm willing to listen. I don't care if I'm allowed to or not. I'm happy to get this off my chest. The conduction grid went online almost 75 years ago. And since then, we haven't developed a single groundbreaking innovation. At this point, the money we're taking in as a power utility barely covers the waste that's going on in the research and development division. Hmm. Can't imagine your superiors are happy about that. <laughs> My superiors seem to only be concerned about themselves. The problem is that Brayson Bayou, administrator Bayou's brother, is currently heading up the R&D division. I swear to you, the man doesn't know the first thing about power systems or electromagnetic technology. Sure there, surely there are other scientists working at Brayson's side. Of course there are. But so far, Brayson has suppressed most of their work through pure jealousy. Look, I'm running out of options. No one above me seems to care what's going on. But I'm willing to take a chance. 
I have a full report on Brayson that I want to send to Administrator Bayou. But I don't know if he can be trusted. What do you think I should do? Hmm. What's that exactly... What exactly does the report say? It describes my aggravation with how badly Brayson Bayou is running the Research and Development Division. I'm also including a list of all the failed experiments he's greenlit, and how much they've cost Genodyne as proof of his incompetence. I'm praying someone as financially successful as Administrator Bayou might be able to put aside his ego and look at this from a business perspective. Hmm. If you're worried... Actually, I don't know what you should do. Yeah, I get it. You don't want to get involved. <laughs> Typical. Wow. Look, I still need to put the finishing touch on these reports. If you change your mind and you can help me decide, I'd really appreciate the help. All right. Okay. I'd like to ask you some questions about Ayumi Kom Komiko. As long as it doesn't get me into serious trouble, ask away. Well, uh, do you enjoy working under her? Uh, she's my boss. She's fine, I guess. Look, like I said, I don't want to get into serious trouble. She might be a bit tough on all of us, but being responsible for Neon's power grid is a very stressful position. Sometimes that stress trickles down. How long has she been your boss? I've only been working here for a few years now, and she's been my boss the entire time. Well, the big boss is our CEO, Mr. Harada. But I've actually never met him. He lives somewhere in New Atlantis, I think. Okay. That's all I wanted to ask. Sure, sure. I am actually going to... It was to... great speaking with you. I'm going to actually... Wait, did this... Yeah, this still is here. I don't know why. I'm going to take... Well, hey there, I read God. I'm going to take some Paramore, if I have any. Well, what if I walk in there myself? Instead of trying to persuade. Are you lost? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Intri oh, okay. I'm just gonna pick it then. I don't know what's in here though. Mm -hmm. That one doesn't work. This one does. And. One and then does this one work? Yes, it does. The Natch. Frank Rennick's all in a twist because what? his robot got vandalized. We had a good laugh about it back at the station. <laughs> okay. Lobby. Okay, so I guess if I persuade him, he unlocks it, or... I, know I actually don't know. Don't make my job. Madame Sauval always gives me her full God. This place is just full of advertising. Okay, let's see. Okay. Okay, let's nothing crazy. Like Velocity or Chimera? You kidding? Chimera all day. Why do you think I'm here? I don't know. Chimera is nice, but Velocity, that will get you hammered. See, you just proved my point. Down your third velocity, and you're out cold. By the third chimera, you're floating on frickin' cloud nine. I don't know about you, but that's where I'd rather be. Yeah, I guess you're right. 
Where the hell did Micah learn to mix a drink like that anyway? Well, let's face it, some people are just gifted. All right. Pretty cool. Welcome. Please, make yourself comfortable. I can offer you a drink, or perhaps you're here seeking access to our member's lounge, where you can enjoy your Aurora experience in peace. No, actually, I'm looking for a Yumi Yumiko. No, no, not this again. You people should leave her alone. What do you want with her? Some documents for her to just... To... Okay. Some documents to sign. An old friend of hers. Documents? No, I'll do this one. <laughs> no way. You debt collectors are low life. Now get out of my club. I'm no debt collector. I'm from the Crimson Fleet. The... The Crimson Fleet? Oh my, I, I'm sorry. I had no idea. I didn't mean anything by it, really. Sorry, I just... Well, I worry about her. Ayumi owes a lot of money around town. I'm trying to help her out. But, you know, I have a business to keep afloat. If you want to talk to her, you can find her in the members' lounge. Of course, access to the lounge is going to cost you. And I'm not changing my mind about that. 5,000 credits. Wow. Enjoy your drinks. Take Love the vibe of this place. Let, uh, let, me, let me check behind the counter here. Nothing. Hmm. God damn it. How much money do I have? I did spend a little bit upgrading the prison ship. You if could? you're planning on using Aurora, you certainly. Excellent. Then here is your access key. Please let us know if anything in the lounge interferes with your comfort. You're always welcome here. God, I do not like this tone of red. Hello. If you require any Aurora to enhance your experience, you let me know. Syndicate. Okay. Yeah. What do you want? Uh, you work for Jennerdine, right? <sighs> Before you continue, let me save you some time. If you are having a problem with your power or complain about your rates, you need to contact our customer service department. Anything else? Well, I need to weigh into the Jennerdine power facility. Uh, you must be zoned out of your mind because there's no way anyone sober would say something like that. Hmm. Help me or this evidence of your scheme with Bayou ends up on SSNN. How the hell did you find that? It was Estelle Vincent, wasn't it? That bitch. I knew I should have kept that somewhere else. Here, take this pass. It should get you through the storage room entry to the facility. I'm warning you though, once you're inside, you're trespassing in a high security zone. That means they shoot on sight. Good luck. You're going to need it. All right. If you get caught in Jennerdine, that's on you. And then I tell them you gave me the key. Then we're in it together. All right, let's get out of Nothing here. Nothing beats getting zoned in the Shut up. Couch. Well, I hate that I had to spend 5,000 credits on that. All right. Uh. I'm not sure how much longer I can survive. Bang, bang, bang. I'm getting Underbelly. Okay, there's just an... Why is there just an elevator for that? Um... What the hell is that? No authorization. Oh, sorry. What the hell is that thing? Apparently, there's two types of fauna I can find. Okay. 
This is kind of crazy. Not interested. The fuck makes you think I'm trying to offer you anything, security guy? Storage room pass key. What? Hmm. What? Neurojack. 50% chance of sudden developments for 10 minutes. Interesting. Okay, shouldn't be... Hello. Shouldn't be too scared to move around for right now, because the hidden's in the green. Which means there are no hostile NPCs around the area for right now. Until I just pass that point. Go sneaky peeky like. Hmm. What's all this then? Is there something in here? False panel or something? Interesting. Right, F5 right here. I'm gonna use a Rico or Recon stem. Oh, and Neurojack. That's actually really cool. That is not what I wanted to use. Where is it? R. Hmm. Oh, wow. Okay. Experimental synthesis of a Recon stem. An infantry alpha. Interesting. Where are my recon stims? There they are. Okay. Fuck, I just thought that suit was an actual person for a second. Shit. Hello. Nothing. Got the Deimos pack on it, though. Okay. Save a save. Grid needs to become fully sustaining when exposed to EM. Better ideas in the works. Refuses to pay for the raw materials that I need. Okay. The serious falling off point seems to coincide with temperature spike. Uh, terminating this experiment until a technician wishes to take over. Oh my god, wow. Alright, this is the R&D. Wait, so you're telling me I could have just jumped up here? Alright. there is the, the robot is patrolling between the two areas I want to see how long he's away from it for 
Because that is where I need to go. Seems to be away from it for a very long time. Oh, he's coming back. Okay, it seems this robot detects everything. There we go. Except they have to be careful. Because you can basically look down. Alright. <clears throat> Play this like a goddamn Batman game. I wish I could have marked him. Also, he's coming back. He seems to be coming back. Alright, I'll wait. Okay, he comes this far. Comes to this event or just above me. Wait, can I deactivate him? Okay, save space. Okay. I don't want anyone getting killed. So. Oh, hello. Oh. Well. I guess I'm keeping that. Thank God I didn't have to, uh. Deal with that. Someone around the corner? Yeah. It also seems the game likes to show, um, five more minutes, okay. Okay, yeah, this might be the absolute most sketchy thing. Okay, let's make a break for it then. Alright, took the outer edge of the room, we're good. Just be it sneaky peeky like. Something almost just looked at me and discovered me, so. Okay, let's pop it. Boom. There we go. Open door. Damn. Okay. I mean, I technically could take it. Well, I'm not hurting crazy for money at that point. No. 
God damn, what custodian needs fucking lockpicks for? What custodian needs lockpicks, and why do we have these here? Okay. Well, I successfully stole from the... Um... Uh, janitor. Okay, F5 now. Holy shit. Wait, is the recon, recon stim still on? Hold on. It's still going. Okay, F5 and move slowly. The hell was that? Fuck. Okay. Wow, okay. I can't go around that side. Because the two people, or the one uh, in the chair saw me, so that's not a good route. Alright. Okay. The fuck? That makes sense. All of a sudden- Oh fuck! Look! There's someone in the vents! <laughs> That's great. That's just great right there. Not at all something that pisses me off. There's a fucker in the vent! Even though I took one step in their direction. Antique toy motorcycle, jeez. Okay. Sure, that makes sense that they heard something through an entire fucking wall. Nothing there. F5. Okay, so I guess I alerted one of them at some point, and then all of a sudden they went, Hmm. Maybe, just maybe, uh, everyone should shift positions for no reason. Space undersuit. Okay, I found a bunch of those. Okay, F5 right here. Hello. Scout's Urban Eagle. All right. Yes, we're home free now. God. That's a pain in the ass because the AI can be manipulated to just sit in one spot. Chain power grid data. Ooh. Technician Shibata, currently posted to Genedi's R&D laboratory. Personal notation. I'd like to go on record about my feelings about Chief Technician Bayu. 
though most of my fellow employees feel that he's underqualified and incompetent. I feel that they are underestimating him. I've spoken to Brayson at length, and I find him actually to be a kind and endearing person. I think that living in the shadow of his brother, Administrator Benjamin Bayou, has given him a bad name, and that's a shame. From what I can gather, he was placed in his current position against his own better judgment and asked to do the impossible. It's an unfortunate situation, but I will endeavor to get the rest of the technicians in the department to be more supportive. Okay. Yeah, fuck everything here. Yep, after finding out that a bunch of these friggin' NPCs can just be stuck in one spot, I'm just pissed. Description. Current power status. Yellow, orange. <clears throat> okay. Grid plans. They're encoded with a 512-bit hollow matrix, matrix encryption. The... If decryption is required, please use the cipher in that section. Great. Cool. All right. Okay, we've already got enemies here, I guess. Okay. It's all robots, grand. Okay. Keep forgetting the sanitation's robot doesn't do anything. F5. They are having a very silent argument over there. Research director's office. Hold on. I don't know exactly where. Looks like I have to get in, into the director's office. Hmm. Okay. F9. Yeah. I think that robot's supposed to be moving around and he is not. God, dude. Huh. Is there an alternate way? Okay, when is the robot going to move? Because I know it's facing away. I know it's facing away, but do I have to duck into each one of these cubicles? Alright, let's try it. Okay, that worked. Am I still under the effect of the recon stim? I am. Yeah, F5. So, got for a quick game tonight. A quick game? Last time you said that, we did 
didn't stop playing for a full cycle. Better call in six per, remember? Ho ho ho, what's this? Yoink! Supervisor's terminal. Current power grid. Message system. Ba -ba -ba -ba. You could adapt the conduction grid to be used as an EM type shield for spacecraft. Okay, so they've already had this thought. Interesting. Alright, let me just crack this bad boy open. Now, how would I go about doing this one? Like that, and then... Hmm. Okay, I messed up then. Okay, something more like that. Alright. Also running out of digipix. And... Like that, and nope. Ah, here we go. Ho oh, ho ho! Okay, again. I found another one. That's good money, though. Is there any way to turn on the, uh... Yoinks. Yoinks, Scoob. Come in. There we go. I'm apparently over encumbered. Hmm. I did pick up the rad burn a while ago. But uh, it seems to be an eh kind of weapon because it doesn't get better if you go back and get it. Okay, it's just the sanitation bot. Yeah, when it's green, it's a friendly character detecting you. When it's red, oh, run. Or start fighting. Ah, uh, hello. Let me just uh, bug your computer. I don't mind me doing that right now. Failed, 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 failed. Interesting. Just bugged his computer in front of him. Okay, break by you. Oh, it's you. I was wondering how long it would take you to get down here. If you want the encryption cipher, you're welcome to it. I just don't want anyone getting hurt. All right, there has to be a catch. No, no catch. I I'm not trying to trick you. You want the cipher? It it's yours. At this point, I'd do anything to get back at my brother. He deserves everything he's got coming to him. Is there a problem between you and your brother? Or who's your brother? <laughs> You're kidding, right? My brother is Benjamin Bayou. The one and only. He's the administrator of Neon. And the reason I'm so damn miserable. Sure you have a good reason to hate your brother. Oh, don't, don't patronize me. I know I'm no prize winner myself. But at least I don't spend my days trying to screw everyone over. You know, I've spent my entire life living in Ben's shadow. Everything always works out for him. While, I, while I've been bouncing from one job to the next, barely keeping afloat. And all the while... He laughs at me behind my back. Thinks it's hilarious to make fun of his, his stupid brother. Like I wouldn't eventually find out. You should, you should expose him for everything Shady has done. That wouldn't do any good. For every scheme he's gotten himself into, he has a bulletproof exit strategy. The man's virtually immortal. You know what? I am sick to death of being pushed around. It's my turn to take control for once. 
The passcode for my terminal is GEM-41A18. That should give you access to the cipher and whatever else you need. I'm getting out of here while I still can. After you're done, I suggest you do the same. Okay. Feels good to be in control for a change. Decryption routine. Wait, was that an actual transition door? I'm going to guess that's just to keep the players separated. What is this? O2 filtered calibrated shock troop space helmet. I mean, it's not good. That's not bad. Um. Well, just see what happens. Neon gang culture. I'll read that later. Okay, let's go. Okay, trade tower. Lobby. Benjamin's Bayou. Benjamin Bayou's penthouse. Can I actually go there? Floor access restricted. Damn. Go to the lobby then. Oh wait, then this puts us... Yes, it does. Alright, so it puts us right outside of the place we're supposed to meet her at. Wow. Let me see. Uh, I have the pilot outfit. And the space uniform. And it's just kind of junk stuff. Alright. Let's go. I'm actually going to save real quick. Quick save. Okay. Damn, dude, a frame rate so bad I could actually taste it. Music is Jesus, dude. Crowd density at stupid low, and it's still not good. Ah, there you are. What kept you? Oh, great. I believe we have a lot to discuss. It's obvious you're here to meet someone. Fortunately for them, they rented this VIP room under a false name. I assume that same someone provided you with that clever little virus you installed into Genodyne systems. Hmm. You know why I'm here, then you know what's at stake. All too well. You know... I should give credit where it's due. That virus is quite impressive. It will cost me tens of thousands of credits to remove. That's the... You know I'm from the Crimson Fleet. And you know we mean business. And I'm a businessman. Which means I know when to walk away from a deal. You want to know why? It's because I don't negotiate with pirates. They don't understand commitments or contracts. How to get the deal done with finesse. No. For your kind, it's only brute force and violence. Shoot first, take whatever you want, and ask questions later. That's not how I do business. Hmm. Your arrogance is astounding. That's what they tell me. Look, I'm not here to debate. I'm here to make an offer. All you have to do is tell me who's profiting from the virus you've uploaded. In return, I'll let you leave the city alive. Huh. Oh, wow. I can lie, blame his brother. Hmm. Which he'll probably believe that immediately. And what will happen to them? You don't have to worry about that in the least. You point me to our little mole, and I'll do the rest. You don't even have to get your hands dirty. Hey, fuck you then, it was me. Really? That's the story you're going with. Very well. 
There's a body that Neon Security is going to be discovering very soon. One with concrete evidence that links you to the murder. I'd say you have about one hour to leave this place before you have a price on your head. So, I assume this concludes our little arrangement, and you'll be no. leaving our fair city. Oh, when you get back to the key, be certain to give Neva and Delgado my warmest regard. You motherfucker. I don't care what bounty I have in Neon. Alright. Also, what does he mean by fucking concrete evidence that it links to me? Catherine Luzion keeps them. I don't know how he would be like, oh yeah, it definitely links to you and no one else. What, is he, what did he just kill someone and then write my name on it? Who are you? Love Interesting. Your it may not work for some, but you wear it like a champ. Oh, thanks. Glad you're back. Sorry about the whole Benjamin Bay you think at the Astral Lounge, but I didn't have much of a choice. Can you believe the nerve of that smug son of a bitch? Man is priceless. He doesn't scare me. You're not the least bit concerned that he found the virus and figured out where we were meeting that quickly. Must be nice to be so naive. No, must be nice to have something that shoots lead. Yeah, I think I'm done here. Well, I'm glad someone's happy. Since Bayou flagged the virus, I can't risk accessing the system now. All that work I did trying to crack Jennerdine is gone. Now I'm in a bit of a bind. The prep work for this job put me in deep for a bunch of cash, and I have no way to pay it all back. Yeah, you knew the risk. I've been fleet for the last five years. You don't have to remind me that there's risk in what we do. Look, I was hoping you'd pick up on what I was trying to ask. Can you cut me in for a little bit of cash you're making on this job? I mean, I did get you inside and practically hand you the data on the grid. Wow. All right, I suppose I could do that. I appreciate that. Hmm. I really do. Having each other's back is what makes the fleet stronger, you know? How much uh, are you willing to part with? Uh, 4K. This is perfect. It will definitely help. Thank you. All right, I guess we're done here. Tell Delgado if he ever needs me for anything else. I've still got his back. And hey, you won't be hearing Rook from me anymore. As far as I'm concerned, you're one of us now. Lifeblood of the fleet. If anyone tries to tell you otherwise, you send him to talk to me. All right. Put in a good word to Delgado for me, will ya? All right. Can I jump off of the edge here? and actually make it. Alright, we can get out of here. Well, let's see if I can get to my ship before security tries to do anything. All right. Hello. Hmm. I guess I don't have a bounty yet. I don't know what time it is in game, but uh Yeah, now it's changed its name. You see in Navy A Cargo. All right, let's get out of here before I get a bounty. Achieving orbit now. 
All right. I'm surprised during that entire thing with um, Bayou or Bayou, uh, you can't use the wanted trait for any of that. It's kind of weird. Yeah, it took. It took the wanted trait. You'd think. You'd think. Um, you could comment uh, using that trait, but I guess not. All right. Let's get out of here before they go. Oh my god. Oh my god, there he is. There they are. All of them, everyone on that ship. Arrest them. I'm getting out of here before that happens. I just thought it failed for a second. I don't know if that can actually happen. Wow. Switching over to standard engines. Let's dock up. Oh, hello. First time she's here in a while. All hell's breaking loose, Rook. Delgado needs you in the repair bay with Jazz as soon as possible. Don't you want to hear about what happened on Neon? Hooray! You got the conduction gizmo. You did exactly what we asked you to do. Good work, Well, fuck Pat you for being head. patronizing. Are you ignoring me or something? I just said there's an emergency. Wow, okay. Someone overcook a potato in the microwave? Oh, that's hilarious. You're a real comedian, you know that? Now get your ass to the repair bay. Go! You ain't goddamn patronizing, like... I just got us a large-ass target on our backs. From Bayou, or Bayou. All right. The hell's going on? And you are sure we will have those defense batteries up and running? No, 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 no. I'm not sure. They're in bad shape, Dell. Really bad shape. I I'm already using duct tape and spit to keep the station from falling apart. And you want me to pull a rabbit out of my hat? I don't want to hear excuses. I want to hear that it's going to be fixed. Period. Get it done. All right, all right. I'm on it. You want to quit standing there and hand over the conduction grid data? Right here. Ah, perfect. I'll take that. <laughs> Dependable as always. Unlike some people we know. Oh, that's real funny. All right, listen up because I don't want to repeat this twice. We've gotten word that UC Sistef is massing somewhere nearby for an attack on the key. While we prepare for their arrival, I want you to head straight for Bannock 4 and bring Crix's legacy home. How do we know that Sysdef is massing for an attack? I have a very reliable source at Mast. They were so concerned that the threat was real, they actually jumped the information out to us right away. Alright, I'll prep my ship immediately. Just slow down and listen before you jump the gun and ruin everything. Lay it out, Jess. All right, first things first. I'm going to upload this data you snagged from Jennerdyne into the Keys databanks. All you need to do is build and then install a conduction grid module onto your ship. Oh, and if you haven't already, you'll need the comp spike module installed as well. Once your ship is ready, jump out to Bannock 4, board the Legacy, and bring us the cash. All right. Sounds simple enough. Nothing around here is simple. Dell's right. You have to follow these steps carefully, or don't bother coming back. After you board the Legacy, be on the lookout for two transfer modules. They're special keys that allow access to the ship's vault. Once you locate the vault's control center, hook up the data core I'm going to give you, and download everything they've got. And before you get any bright ideas, like running off with the money, that currency is going to be heavily encrypted. Only a genius like Shinya will be able to crack that encryption. So bring it back here right away. All right, you can count on me. 
Yeah? I sure hope so. Look, I'm gonna make this real simple for you. If that money ends up anywhere but the key, I will hunt you down and pry it out of your dead hands myself. Now get moving. All right, fine. Mm. Now get your ass to Bannock form. We got a hard ass over here. I need to get those defensive batteries. Oh, oh, everyone. So make this fast. Um. Mind helping me? Why is it at the bottom and not the top? Not a problem. All right, let's. Okay, let's see how much I can fuck up my ship because sometimes ship building ends up with me having to uh oh i don't know okay what the hell why can't i go down there we go and the conduction grid which doesn't go anywhere else There we go. Except. Now let's see what happens if I go out here. Okay, I still have a ship. That's a good sign. Need something? That's a very good sign. I still have a ship. All right. As sometimes the game will just despawn your entire ship because you made one modification that didn't sit exactly where it needs to be. So I'm all ears. Okay. Got this crazy ass gun. And the 1911. Okay. Just hop in and go. Where would the docking seal released? Yeah, where would the vigilance end up being? Whoops. Oh no. Okay. Wow. All right. Okay, yep, they do. They do have a lot of ships. Holy shit. Alright. This is gonna be sketchy. Ship is now docked. Perfect. Didn't even see that. Yes. Okay, let's go. All support ships have arrived, Commander. Good. After we're done here, arrange it briefly. I want all of their seals over here as soon as possible. Yes, sir. Commander! There you are. Where have you been? I've been busy doing my job. You mean your latest excursion to Neon? I've received the reports about your little foray into Genadyne. Last piece of the puzzle before you go after Crix's legacy. Which means it's time to put all the cards on the table and prepare to attack the key. You're in quite a panic over there. Good. The more confusion and panic we cause, the more damage we can potentially inflict. Before you jump to Bannock 4, I need to make one thing abundantly clear. The credits from that Gal Bank transport cannot reach the fleet. You have to bring them here at all costs. If Delgado gains access to those resources, we might be touching off a battle we can't possibly win. 
We've been monitoring the Crimson Fleet's comm chatter and the Crick system. They're gathering allies by making promises based on your success. As much as I hate to admit it, UCC's death won't stand a chance. The fleet will become stronger and more unified than ever. I'm not gonna let you down. Actually, I'll be sarcastic, so no pressure then. Hey, don't worry about it. You've come this far. We know you've got what it takes to bring the prize home. Well said, Lieutenant. All right, I guess this is it. Do whatever prep you need to do aboard the Vigilance, and then head out to Bannock 4. When you return here with Crix's legacy, we'll begin the attack. Good luck. All right. All my hopes go with you. Good luck. Need anything before you head to Bannock? I've got a little bit of uh, evidence. Excellent. Let me have it, and I'll upload it to our database. Uh, here you go. Grab this from the Jenardine Executive's office. Benjamin Bayou, pride of the Free Star Collective. The authorities there have been trying to nail him for a long time. Bringing us proof that he's been manipulating Jenardine from the shadows is pretty tasty stuff. The FC will pay dearly for this. Good job. Any other fragments? Nope. Understood. Keep. This is your moment. I know you can. All right. Oh, this is going to get very, very interesting. We're free and clear for flight. The Bannock 4 we go. I've been here before. Okay. Ooh. But did the quest just not... Oh, there's the marker. It was stuck in the corner. That's why I couldn't see it. Bannock. All right. Copernicus. Okay. Okay, we got to create a new path then. Titanium. It's also a temperate planet with oxygen. Deserted Free Star Collective Garrison. Okay. It also says that it's it's an it's an extreme environment. That's really dumb. It's an almost Earth-like environment. Okay. Next one we go. Oh, there was a ship there. I didn't even notice it. Oh well. Navigational feedback checks out. We're in the right place. You see responder. Hey, over here. Uh, could you please spare a ship part? Our rookie here may have sideswiped. I had a good feeling about you. We just need a little. Two units of ship parts will do. You must have me mistaken for someone who cares. No, I'm gonna give them. You're a lifesaver. Here, take these for your help. Okay, a thousand credits, which is kind of barely enough for um, ship parts. It has a single trait. It's pretty cool. It's a two-planet system. Okay. Okay, this one next. Wait. God, Jesus, dude. The potential levels are just absolutely crazy. 45, okay. I hope I don't run into a level 45 ship. Especially bounty hunters. Drive spinning down. Systems green. 
Okay. You have until I get bored to give us what we want, or we're gonna blow you into a vacuum and take it anyway. Actually, what do they want? We could use a vacation. If you're feeling generous, you could help us out. Or we could just dust your ship. Uh, no, I don't want to fight you. Sorry. How you doing, sweetie? It's not on the menu. Well, I'm okay. But I'd be a lot better if... <laughs> I love how two of them just launched the attack and... Oh my god, hold on. Alright, this might be a good place to go back to. A huge, huge place, too. I kind of just flashed into here, too. I mean, yes, you'd be a lot better if you had a bigger book around. <laughs> <laughs> you know me so well, Dad. So, what do you think? Ah, what a ride. Oh god. Who is hitting us? There we go. Also, we just immediately hit the planet here. Vanek 3. Mining outpost. Okay, so we're getting stuff we already know about. Okay. Let's see if I can navigate. Engine grab. Okay, we've got a ship. That is a ship. Okay, take the... Oops. All right, engines going pretty hard. Probably need like two more engines or one more engine on this thing and it'll probably be amazing. It is the legacy. Oh man, you can actually see the cargo shit too. Oh man. Time to cycle the airlock and move. All right. Lay it on me. All right, here's hoping. Hey. Here's hoping we don't have any issues. Like people on board. Huh. Warning, an emergency lockdown is in effect. Wait, is it, does a storm like this fry all technology on board? Crew recording initiated. All right, the system should be all set up. Just shout out what you want the computer to record. Should work for everyone. Okay, fine. Now, give me the bad news. The bad news is that our engines and grab drive are destroyed and we're drifting toward Bannock 4. Wait, doesn't that put us smack into Bannock's EM field? We hit that! Every circuit on this ship will overload! Easy, Simmons. What's this be about? Huh? She's right. We end up in that electromagnetic radiation, and we're dead. Hey, there's no need to talk like that. It's Simmons' first time out. Can't you see she's scared? Yeah, Bakara, pipe down. You aren't helping. Everyone stop. Right now, we all need to take a breath. We're in bad shape, but I need everyone alert and level-headed so we can figure a way out of this mess. Osterhold, you're my engineer. Give me options. We don't have any options. Kellner and I need to work on the shielding solution. Fixing the propulsion isn't even on the table. Fine. You two get on it. 
Simmons and Bakara, I want you to walk the ship and give me a full damage report. Mayfield, see if you can help Aguilar with that arm injury. Let's move out, people. Crew recording terminated. Elner and Liang. Damn, so they've been here a while. Okay, why would this be a master lock? It's the most basic suit in the game. Uh, that works, and then I use the one. Here we go. Look, that would be good, but then this is good too. Yeah, that's better. But do I have... I do not... Hmm. Fuck, why didn't I just do this one? Nope, that one wouldn't have worked. Hmm. Alright, guess I'm out of DigiPix now. Alright. I actually get to the uh, Bethesda thing? Yep. Yeah, it's not even worth it. Okay. Crew evaluations. Okay. Uh, credits. Cred tank load. Provide alpha cipher, cipher clearance. Damn. Oh my god, I didn't even notice someone was here. Mayfield. Damn, dude. It's like... Fucking crazy is what it is. Okay. There's that. That. There we go, and I'm out of picks. Damn, dude. Oh. Damn. Took the easy way out, and I don't blame him. <laughs> okay. Is there anyone else here? Here's a large kitchen. I'm kind of confused on how long that they've been here. Well, at least what's left of them. Crew recording initiated. All right, so how long has Bakara been locked in there? Ooh. I'm not sure. A week? Maybe more. All I know is that he took some food packs and his duffel into the head and locked himself inside. Everyone's been staring clear of him since he scared Simmons, so we didn't even realize he did this till today. Bakara! Can you hear me? You need to open this door and let us in! The hell with it. I'm going to use the override. I've already tried that. He's rewired the door or something. Maybe change a code. Not sure what he's done. Kilner, can we cut through the bulkhead? Or the door? I'm open to any suggestions. To be honest, I wouldn't go cutting anything in this ship right now. The structure is extremely unstable. Damn it. Well, we can't just leave him in there. Begging your pardon, but we can. It's pretty clear that Bakar checked out after our initial assessment, and he's been killing morale across the ship. Let him soak in there for a while. When he gets hungry, he'll come out. I suppose you're right. Crew recording terminated. Little did they know. He, he took a gun in there with him. Oh 
my. One module. One door. Not so grandiose, huh? Wow, it's almost like it's been collapsing on itself. Holy shit. Okay. I don't know how much of this ship I can access properly. Chat. I'm gonna put you away for right now there. there but uh where is it? Breach. Alright, you're gonna go where the disruptor is. Very slow firing shotgun. Oh god. Okay, shut the door. Okay, advanced. Let's see if I can get this open. Like that. Also, I'm now out of Digipix again. Damn. Well. Considering I have no Digipix left. Yep. Where am I supposed to go? Ooh, fuck. All right, when did I last quick save? About four minutes ago-ish. It is very early in the morning right now. I've been recording since way later. Okay, this is a straight shot of a door. Refined side star. Ooh. Uh, let's see if I can get this open in a few tries or less. Nope, that one doesn't work. That one does. And then a two-piece like that, right? Nope. Damn it. I fucked it up. That's cool. I have to load the quick save. Shit. Right again. I use my auto banks. This one's easy enough. Mm -hmm. That one. Damn it. All right. Uh, remote control. 
Door control. Remote alarm. Oop, disarm. Yeah, those cameras I destroyed would have activated. Oh, wait, would I have actually had to go through? Yeah, there's a radiation leak from what I can tell. It looks like I would have had to go through. Ah. Uh. Alright. Ah. What if I just, uh, deactivate the turrets? Oh, actually, activate them. And then recalibrate Fender, Fender Poe. Okay, didn't activate these robots, thankfully. Oh, cred stick. Hmm. Great. Okay. Catastrophic damage. All right, let me give that breach on again. Okay. All right, breach. I mean, the flechette uh, machine pistol is pretty good, but. Uh, what's this? Okay, it's a breach. And a pacifier, okay. Toxic gas mine, okay, that... That seems very, very... Um, not useful here. Fucking camera just see me? Yep. that yeah, that's locked with an expert lock for some reason okay 45 ACP does not have a 45 ACP pistol in it feel cheated Security, please contact an engineer. Oh, great. <laughs> okay, that was a quick sneeze. Engine room. Are you a piece of shit? Enemy. 
Oh, fuck. God, that actually scared the hell out of me. Why are they staggering so much? Okay, that's another locked door. Duck. I thought that was the camera, and it was the door. Mm hmm. Engine room. Remote alarm. Disarm. Maintenance issue. Everything. Grab drive destroyed. Propulsion offline. Weapons offline. Multiple hull breaches. Too much to lift. Lift. God, list. Captain wants me to lock everything separately, but I'll be damned if I'm going to bother. Attack wrecked this bird. We're finished. God damn. Also, master locked save. Oh my god! Alright, so they all came from that other goddamn room. Oh, okay. Well, let me go back and open that door to that remote uh, security terminal. Okay, it's got no other way of getting into it. That's the weird part. Alright. Novice door lock. Let me just... There we go. Get those out of the way. Yeah, like that. Hmm. There was like barely anything in here, huh? Find Grendel. Heavy fuse. Alright, go back to that uh, one door. The good thing the Mantis armor can take this type of abuse. Open. Holy Jesus. certain there's a couple of turrets here that uh, might not like me. Yeah. I can open the door from this side. Well, at least we can get back quick. Actually, how much, how overweight am I? 216. Holy hot damn, dude. I have no more enemy target Stand by and search the area. Massive damage. Fucking robot S.
Fuck off. It doesn't seem to like deploying multiple robots. Damn, dude. And I have no more. Damn. I didn't see many of those, like, chests I found at the beginning. Or at least, like, the one I found at the beginning. Alright, now I really do just want to get rid of all of that extra weight. Okay, that one's dead. Very dead. A skip pack. Ooh. A research center where I can actually get rid of these goddamn zero wires. Had some extra zero wires I could give to this machine. Yes, not. Oh god damn it! That's the. I thought the com relay was like the super small thing. No, it's the thing that weighs like three pounds, despite being that tiny. Alright. Rash is everywhere. Crew recording initiated. Well now, let's see. Another day's gone by. What's it been now? Six weeks. Who the hell knows? Food packs for my ship are gone, so it looks like the clock's running down for me, and Issa wins. What a clever woman. I what never saw her coming. I mean, I can't blame her. I was stupid enough to hand her the opportunity. Now the fleet's resting on her shoulders. I only hope she doesn't run the whole operation right into the ground. <sighs> anyway, let me just sit down in this chair. <sighs> Crew 
Recording terminated. Damn, okay. What the hell did I pick up though? Revenant. Scented mag. Lacerate titanium build. That's why it has such a low base damage. Alright, I get it now. Alright there, bud. Well. Crew recording initiated. Son of a bitch! Nothing. Complete waste of time. I've tried everything I can possibly think of and I end up right where I started. Oh, here I thought I was so clever. Thought I had it all figured out. First, fix my ship and get the prototype shielding back online. Second, shunt the power from the cred tank array back to the system to drain the credits. And then third, haul ass back to my ship before the EM field rips apart the legacy. Three easy steps, right? Only problem is, I'm stuck at step one. Every system on my ship is dead, and there's nothing aboard this ship to use for repairs. I can't believe I came all this way just to end up stuck here like the poor bastards who ran this ship. Actually, wait a second. Isa. Isa will figure it out. I told her where I was going for a reason. She's smart. She'll, she'll know something's up when I miss the rendezvous. After all, we're supposed to split the loot. All I have to do is sit tight and wait until she figures out that something's gone wrong. Then she'll come here looking for me. <laughs> In the meantime, I should uh, start rationing my food. <laughs> I could be waiting for a while. Crew recording terminated. Damn. Well, he didn't quite make it, huh? Get the Lego suit. Toxic gas. Damn it. We're gonna have to power through. Oh my god. Just gonna have to power through. I've got enough radiation protection. Oh my god, get out of here. I have to get up. Go. Jump, you fucker. Fuck. Damn, 
hits him. God damn it. Getting out of here. Sorry, everyone, but I can't stay. Been nice knowing you. Get out of here. We gotta go. God damn. All right. Fun duck. Your choice of jump destination will determine your allegiance to either this death or Crimson Fleet. Bring Crix's legacy to the key. Or to the UC police. Normalizing. Undocking complete. God damn. That was it. That was it. Oh, that's his ship. Holy. Oh my god, okay. That was his ship. Okay, I saw that a little bit before. I didn't think that was his. Damn. Okay, so. We have a choice. Jump to the key or jump to the vigilance. And. Well. I actually, so stay loyal to the UC, ending over that amount of money, or I go back to the pirates. Hmm. Hmm. We're gonna go help the pirates. Yep. I want those ship parts and as much stuff as I can goddamn smuggle. So, we're gonna go. Pirates for life. Pirates life for me. I keep thinking Tab will get me out of that. Let's go. We supported the fucking pirates. All right, don't stand there looking stupid. Everything's going to hell and Delgado needs you in operations. Is it keep taking any damage? Not yet, but hey, if you stand here. Wow, you gotta be so fucking patronizing for no reason. Oh yeah? You think? Ikande is throwing everything he's got at us, but we're planning on pushing his sorry ass all the way back to Jemison. That is, unless you want to keep standing here talking. Mm, yeah, all of those responses are just awful. Bring them on. 
Hail in combat. Was I... Am I still in combat? Hold on. Still technically in combat. Okay. I don't know if you've heard, but Sis Def's decided to hey, and this guy's just like, I'm gonna casually going to the check this out. Everything in sight. You're funny. Plan. Pretty funny. That dude's fucking funny. I hope the fleet knows how lucky they are to have us. Is that it? That is Grix's legacy? Dios mio. I can't believe it's right here. Jazz, fire up the analyzer. Can you confirm? It's true. You were right all along, Del. You know, there were moments, doubts. I almost stopped believing it was real, that I was chasing ghosts. But then came that day on Subaruf, and everything changed. And now, here it is. Grix's legacy. Our future. Of that, there can be no doubt. You finally have it. This has been a long time coming. This day will go down in history. And so will you. But it's not over yet. Now, only one thing stands in our way. The vigilance. Speak of the devil. Jazz, what is the situation? Looks like Ikande is starting to move. Typical sis death. The sharks are so bloodthirsty, they won't even give us time to bask in the moment. If Commander Akande destroys us, he destroys the legacy. Akande doesn't give a damn. He doesn't need the legacy. He's just terrified what we'll do with all the credits. That is, if we survive this encounter and get to spend them. Those first few Sistef ships were only scouts, trying to confuse us and probe our defenses. Which means they're playing it smart. They're gonna try to take out our defensive batteries before bringing in their big guns. The batteries are the only thing we have with enough electromagnetic firepower to punch through the Vigilance's heart and shielding. We lose those batteries, we lose everything. Then there's little time to waste. Exactly. Jess, lay the plan out for us. We're gonna hold the fort here while you hop back into your bird and head for those defensive batteries. For optimal firing coverage, we're keeping them far from the key and each other. So you'll have to jump to each one individually. You see any c ships get within pissing distance of the batteries? You take them out. In the meantime, we'll secure Crix's legacy here and have Shinya begin cracking the encryption right away. Legacy better be here when I get back. This isn't some kind of trick, and I don't play. Okay. Around. I could have killed you the moment you stepped onto my station and taken that data core out. Receiving a cut of those credits is the only thing that is convincing the fleet's captains that it's worth risking their own lives to defend the key. Hey, if it's any help, you can count on one hell of a party when you get back. Amen, Jazz. Once the batteries are online, we will start our attack of the vigilance. We'll tear apart the shields, board the ship, and bring Ikande to his knees. Works for me. Then you have your orders. Oh, and one last thing before you go. In preparation for the attack, Ikande arrested some of our people. While you're aboard the Vigilance, you might want to spring them from the brig. All right, that's it. If you have any questions, now's the time. Otherwise, good luck. All right. I am stuck at walking speed. Okay, no I accidentally watch, hit. Watch. Oh, wait. Bring Where the on. fuck is Mathis? Hurry up. Sistef is kicking in our front door. Where the hell is Mathis? Bring him on. Sistef doesn't stand a chance against the fleet. You serious, game? The one chance I have to talk to Mathis after so goddamn long, and he just leaves. And now I don't know where he went. Goddamn, dude.
Delgado will work out a battle plan. All we need to do is follow. All right, let's get to it. All right, let's get going. I have to travel to each one of them. All right. On our own again, are we? Well, I still got your back. Oh, whoa, that room for a third party? Yeah, I have to say, how do you think you're doing heavy lifting here anyway? Got you in my sight. Come on, sister. Let's go. Beta. Alpha's done. Beta's next. Last one will be Gamma. Oh, it's 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 one. I want your ship there, buddy. Oh, so you've just destroyed the engine. Damn. Whoops. Quite a lot of EM batteries and whatnot. This would be amazing. Come on, let me try to dock them. No, I guess I can't. Target's jump drive down. Target's jump system down. They've lost grab jump capability. Twenty-one. Hang on a sec. Dell, reading multiple contacts here. I'm on very pissed off flagship. All right, this is it. All ships fall back. Defend the key. What? All right. Back to the key. All right. Hmm. What? What? What in the world? Crimson Fleet. This is Commander. 
Commander Ikande of the UC Vigilance. Surrender and prepare to be boarded. You heard him. See steps here for a visit. All ships, show him how we do things around here. All right, let's go. I go head on with my problems. Damn, they they're trying to take mine. Okay. Oh, uh, yep. Yep, I accidentally got in front of the goddamn vigilance. Yep, that's um, pretty bad. Don't know what to fucking do, man. Had enough. That won't even leave a scratch. Yeah, I don't know what to do. Do not let those pirates board. Nice! 
Okay. Systems critical. He got so close. God damn it. Uh, he got so close. And I didn't think I was that close whatsoever. The key to this fight is literally staying away. Take out the hostile. They've lost grab jump capability. Their shield system is damaged. Please. Over 800 meters away oh, now. Yep, just gonna sit back. Whoops. Dude, that took me something like 50 minutes, maybe an hour, maybe way more than that. Okay, don't know what's going on right there. Um. Alright, reload the quick save, because now it's all buggy. That's cool. That's cool. It's not like Bethesda will leave bugs in their game that leave uh, everything basically unplayable. Okay, now it's insanely buggy. Yeah, this is insanely buggy, I'm not going to lie. The fact that it just keeps attacking the ship, oh, and not to mention, uh, for some reason, if I try to use X to board, the game freaks out and goes, no, and soft locks me. Alright. Wait, why is it telling me I am docked? Why is it telling me to get in the ship? Oh, that must be a bugged waypoint as well. That's bad. Boarding detected. Multiple contacts. All decks defensive stations. Drive them back. And shut off the damn alarm. Break 
thing alive! Apparently I am. I just turn them off. Oh, hold on. Adler. Adler was here the whole time and I didn't even know. Alright. Well. Decompression detected in the starboard cargo bay. See Marine. You want to take the lead here? Huh. Ooh, what's this one? Uh, okay. There we go. I'm having a hard time here. I don't have enough digi picks to do any of this, so. All right. Frag grenades. Go bay computer, and I'm just gonna do this. There we go. Rapid assassin sidearm or whatever it was. Sistep robots. All right. This is just like old times. It's good to be back. Hmm. Heck of a difference from being a Starline captain. Hey, now that wasn't by choice. Besides, I was still making a little bit of extra cash until you stumbled aboard a siren and mucked it all up. Anyway, I'll deal with these prisoners. Could use a few extra hands. Go on, go on. You work your magic, and I'll take my pick of the cargo here. Okay, I accidentally hit that one. I looked away for one second and accidentally clicked, but oh well. Diverting all available power to shields. 
Shields at five percent. Wow, what an effort. Okay, I'm locked in here. That's cool. Dude, how was a 1911? Easy mode. Oh, he's using one too. Saved your ass again. I should start charging you for my help. <laughs> no, I won't hold that over his head. Couldn't have done this without you, Mathis. Compliments don't pay the bills. Just remember how helpful I was when you and Delgado give me my cut of Crix's legacy. Anyway, I'll clear out the rest of this bay. You better get going. All right. Tesla pylons. Wow, okay. Sadly, I can't pick up that extra item. Well, you we decided to drop in. What took you so damn long? Engineering section is just up ahead. Take the lead. We need someone to soak up all of their shots. Oh, how nice. How nice of you. Do you see primary weapons on the I probably should have bought more ammo for this. Oh, wait. Whoops. Oh, no. Anyway. That was a critical hit. Jesus. Yep, Bridger with a long barrel. Get down! Mr. President! What the hell? Oh, here we are. Damn. All right. Well, I am going to drop a couple of mines here then. Okay, that's very cool. Damn it. Dude, okay. I ran out of actual med packs. Um, yeah, that's great. So now I have to rely on the uh, trauma packs. Okay, 
There's another one. God damn. Yeah, I'm all out of actual med packs. God damn it. Alright, so. B, get the one. There we go. Oh, actually, I need to swap out uh, these. Tesla pylons, the shrapnel grenade could probably do some work in the end of that hall there. That was a bad throw. We're getting somewhere now. Uh. Concentrate. Okay, that was a way over dramatic sound. Whoops. That's an actual person. Okay. Well, I just kind of wiped them off the map, so, uh... Hmm. Ooh, actually, I should have equipped the, uh, where is it? The Revenant. I'll equip it over the Kodama. There we go. Thing's fucking wild. Also, I like how roughly in the middle the iron sights actually are. God damn. Like cis def space helmet. Ooh, so they have their own armor. That's interesting. Quiet. Someone's out there. Hello? Did I just not actually reload a, a mag at all? Okay, I wish some of my ammo would actually, uh... Like, I have to aim for their chest. But I can't actually just aim for their chest. What are you gonna do, buddy?
There we go. And I have a Rattler for some reason in my inventory now. What? Secure the best hall. God, why did that hurt so bad? Well, that's that. We still make one hell of a team. Never actually seen you in a firefight before. I'm impressed. When there's money on the line, I think you'll find that I'm full of surprises. You just watch your ass. It Ikande's out for blood. Yep. Wait, Sistep Space Helmet, Space Helmet. Okay. Interesting. Also, why is my gun empty? Gravitic failure in the forward weapons bay. Oh wait, do I have any grenades? This would be a perfect time for grenades. I have a lot of mines, but not a lot of grenades, jeez. Oh my god. Holy shit. That felt pretty good. Been a while since I was dropped into the middle of a firefight. Could have fooled me. You haven't lost your touch. Yeah, well, spend as long on Neon as I have, and you'll learn that using a gun is the most effective way to get what you want. You better run along. I'm sure a few more of these idiots will trickle through here eventually. We'll handle them for you. All right. Okay. We are almost there. This is Commander Ikande. All hands, abandon ship. I repeat, abandon ship. Ah, here we are. It's over. You realize that there is no way I'm going to allow the Vigilance to fall into the hands of the Crimson Fleet. Why are you even bothering to talk? We should drop this asshole right now. Lower your weapon, Jillian. Are you out of your mind? Why? It would be pointless. I have activated the Vigilance's self-destruct. It won't be long before this ship and everyone who remains aboard are going to be incinerated. You'll be killing yourself, then. I am not killing anyone. The destruction of this vessel and the deaths of everyone aboard falls on your shoulders. Whatever caused you to side with these lawless pirates, I hope it was worth it. Being good doesn't seem like much fun. Fun? Is gambling with people's lives some kind of game to you? I did not expect such a callous reason as your motivation. But I clearly misjudged you when I approved your addition to the team. In light of what's about to happen to us, I suppose it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, oh, bounty hunter, wow.
Ooh. Cancel the self-destruct or I'll have your crew captured, tortured, and ransomed. You... You wouldn't. I can't believe this. How could you do something like that to them? I'm afraid we have no choice. I refuse to be the reason that my crew is tortured and ransomed by the Crimson Fleet. You win. I have cancelled this self-destruct. You won't have any resistance from myself or Lieutenant Toft. She's not holding a gun. All right, Commander. I lost some good friends today, so no tricks. Fall out of line, I put one in your head. I don't care about my life. I just want assurances that my crew will be spared. You're breaking my heart. Oh, yeah. You're real tough with unarmed prisoners, Mora. Jillian, please. This is not the time or the place. Yeah. Listen to your boss, Jillian. And keep your mouth shut. Now move! Both of you, now! If she's not holding a gun. So an important... In an important... God. So in an important scene. She's trying to be threatening. But she doesn't have a gun. That is absolutely hilarious to me. Wait, hold up. Oh, wait, hold on. Better get this reloaded. Wait, so I started here. Oh, was it behind a secure door? Damn. It was, I bet. Let's get on my ship and get to the key. We're clear. All right. This was one hell of a ride. Air pressure. Seals, okay. ship integrity, all good. Holy shit, man, we did it! We planted a flag on the goddamn vigilance. <laughs> and did you see those sissif rats jumping off the ship? I chased a few down. Can't let me get that was some battle. I've got goose pimples. I ain't no damn bird. <laughs> Wow. That's one hell of a souvenir you got there, pirate. <laughs> ah, I figured we can use it for target practice. What about the rest of you? Come back with any spoils? I looted some weapons. Picked up some creds myself. I think I got, uh... Somebody's toothbrush? <laughs> ah, why would you take that? We can use it to scrub the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wait, a we really did it, didn't we? Yep. God damn, dude. You did it! You actually pulled it off! Didn't I tell you, Dale? I told you there was something different about this rook! 
Oh my god, Nave. You're so full of shit. What? I just call it like I see it, Jazz. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. I, I seem to remember your rant about that lousy rook and how you were gonna off that loser and take their ship. No? Shut up, Jazz. Both of you, cut the crap and let me talk. All right, look. I'm terrible at this crap, so I'm going to spare all of us the stupid speeches and make this short. All right, I'm listening. When I took over around here, things were looking grim. We were hanging on by a thread. The only thing that kept the fleet intact was the promise that I'd find Crix's legacy and put us back on top. At the time, I was full of shit. I didn't know how the hell I was going to make that happen. And as the years passed, my words started to wear. We lost a lot of good people because they thought Dale was chasing ghosts. She's right. That thread I was talking about, it frayed. Badly. But when you found that recording on Suvorov, the hunt reignited. You gave us the courage we needed to hold fast. Now that his legacy is where it belongs, we can become the pirates Crix always meant us to be. Thanks to you. Ooh, what's gonna happen to the vigilance? Oh, I can't wait to get my greasy little hands on that thing of beauty. Get in line, Missy. You talking about my new ship there? No one is doing anything to the vigilance until I give the okay. For now, we're going to leave it at station keeping near the key until we decide how badly to trick it out. If you've left anything over there, you're welcome to head back and have a look around. All right. Does this mean Sistep is done for? <laughs> yeah, you wish. Unfortunately, Neva's right. This is a setback for the United Colonies. But now that the vigilance is gone and Ikande is out of the running, they're not going to just forget we exist. It's only a matter of time before they try and cook up some new scheme to come after us. Except this time, we'll be ready for them. Ah. It took all of us working as a crew to make this happen. Oh yeah? Well, since you think everyone around here helps so much, I'll just give them all a piece of your cut. Oh. <gasps> Dibs on the comp spike! You would go for that garbage. Me? I only want the cash. <laughs> all right, let's get down to business. You want your money, and you're going to get it. A lot of it. As long as everyone else gets their fair share. The hell with that? Haven't you learned anything? Demand the largest cut. No, no, spread the wealth. I'll take a bigger share. That's fine by me. <laughs> okay, okay, let's get this done. Before you head out and get drunk at the Nova, I want you to remember one thing. The fleet always comes first. There are still jobs to run, things to steal, and places to wreck. So celebrate, get wasted, then get back out there and make us some money. 250,000 credits. Damn! All right, Delgado. Just because we have the legacy doesn't mean things will be easy from here on out. With creds, come an even bigger target on our backs. I will always appreciate what you have done for the fleet. Now get back out there. There's credits to take. Well, that's that. This little beauty isn't jumping anywhere now. What would you do without me? Hmm. Uh, thanks for the assist, Neva. Don't thank me. I'm just doing my job protecting the Crimson Fleet's investment. All right, enough of this bullshit. Go on ahead and give Ikande my regards. I bet he can't wait to see you. All right. Yeah. Hey, Ooh. there's my favorite walking cred stick. You headed out? <laughs> Gotta get busy spending your fortune, huh? All right. I'm not leaving the key without spending some of these credits at the last Nova. Drinks on Cricks. That's the spirit. I could use a pint myself. Maybe I'll tag along. Say, speaking of which, how'd you feel about making this partnership of ours more permanent? Bet we could make some real waves in the settled systems if we put our heads together. 
and traveling together is a hell of a lot safer. Oh, 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 yeah. I like the sound of that. You're welcome on my crew. I knew you'd see it my way. This will work out just fine. But don't expect me to get excited about taking orders. I'm in this for the cash. All right. Okay. Apparently everyone's been unassigned. Yeah, everyone has been unassigned. So you're telling me I wasn't taking the maximum advantage of my crew, basically? And that sucks. Oh, it says she's on there. That's interesting. And Vasco's for some reason. Leave it to me. God. I've got your back, pal. All right. Well. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. This will probably turn out to be a very long video in post. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. The legacy is ours. Uh, please There's leave no a like, subscribe, hit the bell, set notifications to all, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.